Correct. But let's that's get true. to Jason Tatum. The only questions I had about that man yesterday was the shirt he wore post game, but that's a different story. He's been on a tear and it continued. La <laughs> you saw that little lace thing last night. So clutch. 31 points, eight assists, and the buzzer beater to give the Celtics the 115-114 win in the 1-0 series lead. Big perk. What did Tatum prove to you? Oh, that he's a top 10 player in the NBA. And, and and it shouldn't have been just yesterday, but what mm -hmm. he's been doing over the last couple of months. Look, no one has ever questioned Jason Tatum for his, for his, his talent. The only thing I ever questioned about Jason Tatum was his mentality, meaning I wanted to see the passion. I wanted to see the killer in him. I wanted to see the uh, the kiss of death that he's been doing lately. That's the Tatum I want to see. And so if you notice, the way that Boston plays, they feed off the energy of Jason Tatum. And now we're seeing a different version of him. I'm seeing him getting into KD defensively, the start of the game. I'm saying, hold on now. He's checking KD, and he wants the smoke on the other end. This is the Jason Tatum that we've been looking for. But right now, when it comes from being a talent aspect, and now he's taking that leap for his leadership and showing people why he's a franchise player, he's definitely in the top 10 for his top 10 players in the NBA. I couldn't agree with Kendrick Perkins more. I have no disagreement there. I know we're supposed to be debating. There's no disagreement there. There's no doubt. Uh, Ken, T Jason Tatum's a top 10 player. Jason Tatum is a young star in this league. And I love the fact that he's showing more of his personality. He's going after it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He's going for it. And that's what you want to see. And this is the thing, KP. I mean, for me personally, just doing countdown this week and just sitting there with Greeny and the fellas and the whole bit, Will Bond and Jalen, here's my thing. What I loved about what we saw this weekend is that we saw stars who want to be stars. We saw stars who answered the Thank call. you. They ain't just looking the money Thank you. and going elsewhere. It's like this is the big stage. Let me show you that I want this, okay? That's why I can be mad at Kyrie Irving for being gone more than half the damn season because I know what he does when he steps on the court, and I think the borough of Brooklyn and the city of New York and everybody else in between deserves to see that on a more regular basis. You see Trey Young and what he did. You saw Donovan Mitchell in the second half and what he did. You saw Ja Morant, Anthony Edwards. He's coming, y'all. We'll talk about that later and then you saw Jason Tatum yesterday do what he did and this is the thing now me personally this is where I got to get on some people you know Brian Colangelo was running the Sixers and they had the third pick <laughs> and he got hosed by Danny Ainge because Danny Ainge convinced him that he wanted Markel Fultz and he gave up a pick uh, just to move up in the draft to the number one overall pick Instead of Jason Tatum, he drafted Markel Fultz, okay? We wish Markel Fultz nothing but the best. Just came back from an injury. We know he's had some issues, but we wish him nothing but the best. He's got some promise, but he ain't no damn Jason Tatum. Even though Lonzo Ball is hurt, when he was playing, okay, he was the number two overall pick by Irvin Magic Johnson's Los Angeles Lakers. They needed a point guard. They needed somebody that was a local product. And they got this brother from Chino Hills instead of Tatum. Can we fantasize for a moment here, Kendrick Perkins? Could you imagine mm. if LeBron James had joined a Lakers squad with Jason Tatum? Could you imagine? Mm. I mean, I promise you this. Mm. We wouldn't be talking about the Lakers being out of the playoffs. We wouldn't be talking about them struggling to make a play-in <laughs> game. I promise you that. Mm -hmm. I promise you that. So, I think about Philly and I think about the Lakers. They had the number one and number two pick in those drafts, and they passed on Jason Tatum for Markel Fultz and Lonzo Ball. We need to remember that when we're talking about Jason Tatum because Jason Tatum – is a star. Jason Tatum has superstar written all over him. This is a special, special brother. And I think if I remember correctly, I'm trying to look at how old he is now. The brother's 24. He's 24, 24. years baby. old. My God. 6'9", wingspan over 7 feet, handle, can shoot from 3, mid-range game, can score in the open court, can finish at the basket, and he can defend. On both ends, this brother is big time, and he's put everybody on notice. And he's making people around him better now. Absolutely. 
Hey, real quick, guys, I just want to give KD uh, his flowers. I know it was a loss, but he did pass Jerry West yesterday. He's now number eight on the all-time scoring list, so congrats to him on and that. And he'll be climbing. He'll be top three before his career is over. Yeah, top for sure. Top three. Oh, absolutely. For sure. Just getting started. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.